Good morning, brothers and sisters. Praying and thank you. Blessed to start to your day. Our devotional thought this morning comes from 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, verses 15, I'm sorry, verses 16 through 18. Let's bow our heads. Our Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you for allowing us to see another week. Lord, as we start this week, I pray that we will start it in you. Lord, you know the petitions in our heart. You know the prayers that we need answered. So, Father God, I pray that you will meet every need that everybody has. Father God, I pray that you will be with each individual prayer request and bring us together collectively to follow you. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. What is this? Our devotional thought is from 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 16, 17, and 18. And folks, as we end this year, as we get closer and closer to the end of the year, as I read this verse, it reminds me of an easy process to position ourselves to be in the Lord's will. Verse 16 says, Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, and in everything give, give, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Folks, simple, three simple, three simple verses. It tells us a, a plan of action. So listen, you want to be in the will of God? You want to walk with God? You want God to be pleased of you? Three things. Rejoice. When things are going good, when things are going bad, rejoice knowing that you are not in it alone. You see, folks, a lot, none of us like to go through things. And, and when we go through things, it, it's, it's, it's a rough, it can be a trying time. But I'm sure many of us can testify that those times that we were going through things and we had somebody with us, somebody supporting us, somebody praying for us, somebody right there with us in it, it made it a little bit better. And the word says that we can rejoice because we know when we keep our hand in God, he doesn't promise that we're not going to go through rough times. He doesn't promise that we're not going to go through certain things. But at the end of the day, we can rejoice because even when we're in the midst of the storm, we can be sure that he is with us. But then pray without ceasing. What does that mean? Be on your knees 24 hours a day? No. Prayer is talking to God. But throughout the day, be in a constant communion with our Father. Lord, I'm heading to the store. Talk to him throughout the day. Walk with him throughout the day. Pray without ceasing. Because you won't have to call, folks, when we walk with God, when we pray without ceasing, when we come upon danger, when we come upon trying times, we will have that voice in our hand, in our head because we are walking with God, that he will say, no, 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 don't go that way. Go this way. This way is straight. This way is safe. Pray, be in constant communion with God. And communion is two things. Prayer is two things. Talking is two things. It's talking and listening. So be listening for the voice of God at all times. And then give thanks. Because if we're rejoicing, if we're praying, he is going to see us through whatever we come upon. So folks, then we have to re uh, give God thanks. Lord, thank you for seeing me through. Thank you for being with me in the storm. Thank you for guiding my path. Thank you for showing me not to go down the dangerous route and keeping me on course. Rejoice. Pray. And give thanks to God. And then you will know that you are in the will of God, in Christ, concerning you. Father God, Lord, as we end this year, Lord, as we start get ready to start a new one. Lord, we want to be with you. We want to be in your will more than anything. Above blessings, above financial, above, above physical. But Lord, we want to be in your will. Because we know whatever comes our way, that's the best place to be. So Lord, I pray that all of us will find ourselves in your will and that we will stay there. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my brothers and sisters.